after you diagnose someone at the moderate to severe stages of Alzheimer's disease, the next step is to begin treatment. I think one of the things that we sometimes fail to do as healthcare providers is try to maximize the benefit the drugs may have for treating people by not using the maximally available doses of each drug. So for example, when you're going to start someone on a cholinesterase inhibitor, for example, a denepazil, the initial titration step is 5 milligrams. But in all of the clinical trials that were performed, 10 milligrams was superior to 5 milligrams. So the goal would always be to get people to the maximally tolerated dose. After they're on the maximally tolerated dose of denepazil, or another cholinesterase inhibitor, you might consider then beginning combination therapy because the NMDA receptor antagonists are approved for moderate to severe Alzheimer's disease. So in the right individual um, who's tolerating their cholinesterase inhibitor well, who you want to again maximize the potential benefit, beginning combination therapy will make sense. Uh, a number of specialists around the country do believe that combination therapy may provide the greatest benefit uh, for the patients with moderate to severe Alzheimer's disease. So in the appropriate patient who can tolerate both medicines and can afford both medicines, uh, that would seem like a, a reasonable goal. Once you've maximized combination therapy, you might want to consider going to a higher dose of denepazil. Alternatively, if someone cannot afford to take combination therapy and you already had them on 10 milligrams of denepazil, you might then go ahead and maximize them to the maximal dose of denepazil, which is 23 milligrams.